I have a father who's an artist, but as a kid, I wanted to learn things my own way. Because my dad was an artist, you know, I loved going into my dad's art studio and just watching him draw and paint. Then I would go into my own studio, and I actually had a studio when I was a little kid. My dad set it up, and I just draw and draw and draw and draw and draw. It's all I wanted to do. Eventually, I started to really get into doing caricature because caricature and portraits and people I've never gotten bored of. The way I got into it was another artist noticed my work and told me to join this group, International Society of Caricature Artists. There was competitions, and I would look through and I'd see the work that these guys were doing, and I was like, oh, I think I could take most of these guys. And sometimes I would, sometimes I'd get my butt kicked. <laughs> I started getting a lot of recognition for the caricature work that I was doing, and it kind of gave me confidence for years, I was sending my work to magazines and not hearing from any of these other magazines because I've never been published before. But it gave me this idea to start contacting basically no-name magazines. I contacted them and I started getting work. And that's, that's how it started. And then the doors opened up for me to do work for real magazines. I think my first big client was Time Magazine. Around 2005 or 2006, uh, a friend of mine told me you should start doing digital painting. At first, I was against it. I was afraid that it, I would lose the organicness of traditional painting. My personal belief is I want digital painting to feel traditional. The reason I gave it a shot was because I was getting very stressed out with deadlines. The digital thing for me really helped relieve a lot of stress, a lot of worries, and it was a learning curve, but as I started doing it, I was like, this is really like painting. And then I got the Cintiq. That to me was a game changer. I couldn't believe how fast my painting and everything went. It's like magic paper. I always tell my students that if you're serious, the Cintiq means you're a professional. I would never use anything besides it. It's just another way for me to make art, but it's important to me aesthetically that it comes across a certain way. The thing I love about painting digitally is it's a tool to help me create my work in a much faster way. So I treat it very traditionally. I'm an artist, I wanna draw, I wanna paint. The one thing you gotta work on is you gotta have a spray that, that smells like oil paint or something. So that way, like when you're painting digitally, you still have that, that smell, you know?